no, 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 no. 14 12. We have been pushed back. And a lot of players have said that we have lost. Some people said losers. But the KVK has not ended yet. We still have 19 days and currently two hours as of the time of recording this video. You know what they say? Until the clock goes to zero, the game is not over yet. I just want to quickly invite you guys onto this Acorn app, what I've been using to invest my money. I actually have started this for about like six, seven years ago when I was still in college and I've actually pulled out money here and there. So what my strategy was when I was in college is that I would put 10% of my earnings into Acorn. Um, it actually helped me out a lot throughout the times when I need it. So as you can see, um, right now I have already invested $3,000, 214. My portfolio is actually set for aggressive. You can also change this to either a more conservative type of portfolio. It really depends on your approach. Um, for a younger uh, age like us, you know, aggressive is definitely very doable. Um, you can either do a manual roundup. You have to connect your credit card or I just put a recurring with connecting my bank account. As you can see, I have been dropping $25 every single day into this account. And on June 16, I've actually gotten some really good dividends for the amount that I have in here. So uh, the more you grow your account, the more dividends that will pay out. And one more thing I love about this app is that you can definitely pull your money out anytime you want. It's not going to hold you for anything. There's also a lot of ways to earn money within this app. So you can also see that there's a bunch of different affiliates in here as well. So just remember, the more you invest, the more you'll have later on when you retire. So as you can see, once I've reached 65 years old, the total amount of that I've invested will be 331,000 and the return will be 800K. I think that's pretty, pretty good return in my opinion. As you guys can see, I'm actually been an investor since 2015. Now I'm going to put a link in the description. Go and click that link and download this app and start investing for your future. And when you use that link, you're actually going to get $5 to start with. So good luck to you. So I just shared a little video there um, for saving up your money early. I'm not sponsored by Acorns, but the reason why I am sharing this because I want everybody that are watching my contents to understand the value of saving money and how much you can save up in the long run. So I put $25 there every single day. And eventually if I don't look at it, I'll get those dividends and I'll be able to have some good retirement money or some emergency funds. So I want you guys to understand that it's going to give you some value long run. So let's take a look in here. Uh, a lot of players have said in the recent comments on the videos and saying that, um, hey, yeah, uh, you know, 14, 12, you guys lost, blah, 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 those kind of stuff. Um, you know, oh my goodness, the struggle in here. Um, with my controls. There we go. I need to stop pressing that control button so I, can, I don't accidentally zoom in. By the way, I'm using BlueStacks. All right. This is an emulator that you can download. I have a link. So if you want to click that link and download BlueStacks 5, you're going to have a much, much enhanced gameplay because it's going to be more precise when you're attacking, when you're targeting precise movement when using BlueStacks 5. So a quick uh, summary here, what happened, as you guys can see, there's a lot of inactive flags. So remember there was an update about three hours long. So during that update, they were able to take advantage of the situations where they were able to build a fortress. So they built two fortress there and they were very good with their tactics. I gotta give it up to them. Um, they even built a fortress in kind of copying the name uh, they even did that 1412E and then JST with an exclamation mark. I think it's this one. Um, so JST with an exclamation mark. This <laughs> is pretty, pretty freaking interesting, honestly. So this is from 1474. So what they have done is truly amazing. I mean, it's a strategy. It's part of the game. Um, I, I find it amusing and I find it creative. 
Um, so they were able to take advantage of that situation that um, the game, you know, allowed pretty much. Um, who's this? What does the BBC Alliance mean? Oh, baby bad company. Um, I totally had something else in my mind um, that was totally, um, totally uh, family friendly uh, topic there. Um, big bad canopy or something like that. Yeah. Um, yeah. So anyway, I got distracted there. So basically, that's what happened. They were able to build forts there. And one thing that you guys need to understand, we were fighting recently, right? With PTOL and FCN as well, right? So it, it was it was a very challenging. We were fighting against them. And then we just turn around, turn back around, and then now we're fighting the other opponents here on the other side. So it was very, very challenging, 100%, uh, very draining and time-consuming. For the effort that 1412 is able to really do this, I got to give it up to every single one, you know, of course, including me. When I say 1412, I include myself there already. So every single player in here have done such a great contribution uh, from whales to low spenders to medium spenders to free to play. Everyone. Um, I wasn't able to record this earlier because I was busy today. Yes, I still have life and I still have to manage, but you can see that, you know, there's a lot of, uh, you know, a lot of troops right now. There's a lot more earlier. This is like packed. This is insanely packed in here. I think now, see, now they're bubbled up in here and, you know, this is the D now. So we've just, just by looking at this, we, you can see that we have now taken, uh, taken the, taking this stride to recapture some of the territory this pass right here this is crucial for us right this is crucial and and they know that they have to get that pass in order to disrupt anything from our safe area here this is our safe haven and soon enough the king's land will open and this is going to be the deciding factor of what's going to happen so when people say yeah you guys lost KVK. Oh, who's winning? You know, I will be honest with you. I will not say that we are winning, nor I will say that we are losing. Because the day of this KVK is not yet over. Now, one thing that I really experienced in 1412 is that the sheer determination of players in here. You know, being in the kingdom like this, what I see is that they are driven by success and failure is not an option. So I 100% I can foresee that the success will really happen once we get into the king's land with our allies together. This is a very challenging KVK, but I can definitely foresee a successful result as long as our team continues to have the successful mindset into going in into the king's land. And, you know, we have to respect our enemies. For my experience is that 1412, they do not really go and trash talk you know other players which you know we were losing when we were fighting them i never got a bad message from 1412 this is the type of level of quality of players that we have here and this is very attractive to me and regardless of what's happening right now honestly our opponents are very respectful as well i haven't even had any trash talk from our opponents i gotta give it up to them much respect for their fighting capability in here they are doing a great job on their presence they're making a mark here for the history of rise of kingdoms because i think in my opinion that this is a history making kvk in rok there's no kvks yet that will experience what 1412 and allies are experiencing with the matchup that we have taken on. Now, I want to mention to you guys, there's a lot of commitments and time and effort for every single player here to the 1412. You know, for you to commit yourself over a video game for hours and hours, I got to give it up to every single one who does it. Uh, you know, not just here, I would say, even for our opponents. I want to give credits to them because they truly are a great fighter. Um, they, they know how to organize and fight and they're not backing down easily. So I want to give a shout out, like even this Lucifer kid, I've seen him a lot. There's the girl named Michelle or is it Michael? I don't know. Uh, but Michelle, I, I call her Michelle. Uh, I could have been reading it, reading it wrong. Um, there's also the, the daddy in here. Oh my goodness, daddy. 
<laughs> daddy uh white daddy <laughs> so sus so sus shin why you name yourself daddy it's so weird what a <laughs> he's an archer gang archer daddy this is the archer daddy there's ragnar as well i've seen this um you know all these guys in here the sheer determination there's a guy with a picture of a Raphael. um i forgot where he is there's a guy who's named picture of Raphael. But gotta give it up to these guys in here. So give yourself credits as well. Because I gotta give it up to these guys in here because they're doing a, a tremendous job. And I think this is mostly Indonesian, uh Indonesian um team. But so I just wanna say that great work in here. You know, it's definitely a challenging Rose as well. Rose has killed me a few times in here as well in the field. So there's that. Um Excalibur, the guy named Excalibur. I don't see him here, but I've seen him a lot on the field as well. Really catchy names. I remember them. So they are tremendously, you know, much respect for them. They are a true fighter as well. And the same thing with here in 1412 and Allies. Um, we're, we're a team. We are enjoying this KVK as much as they do. So, you know, much respect for everybody. And there, um, there's definitely going to be more actions in here that we're going to see in this KVK. So you guys have to tune in. So not every video will have all the actions. So today it's just more of a talk show. And we're just talking about what's happening because it's kind of pretty much chill right now. But in the next few days, it's going to be absolutely insane. So I've got some more videos to show to you guys. And make sure that you guys hopefully enjoy and entertain with the contents that we are making. Oh, boy. 67 million there's 20 gatherers in there not a whole lot honestly but um i think they're gonna eye on to that and uh, try to take that over and kill anything that comes out but that's gonna be a while um so we're ready for more actions in here 1412 is ready we are not giving up we are not backing down we are going to push forward and we are going to strive for success and victory must be claimed. We're going to do our best, but anything can happen. Anyway, rockers, I'll see you again next time.